This is BBC World News. I'm James Menendez. Coming up in just a minute, world have your say. But first, let's take a look at the latest headlines this hour. Thanks, James, and welcome to the programme. Well, it's been the story that's captured imaginations all this week, the Philae Comet, which has um, landed. Now, after the initial jubilation, scientists are now racing to get as much information from the lander before its battery runs out in just a matter of hours. The drilling to gather samples has begun, and now the Rosetta team says it will try and move it later on today, hopefully into the sun. It's a risky decision, but one which scientists do hope could pay off. Well, for the next 30 minutes, we're going to connect to mission control as well as speak to space scientists and also to teachers to explain how this mission has inspired a generation. Now if you have questions for any of our guests throughout the next 30 minutes all of the key contact details will be on screen throughout. Lots to talk about so let's get started. I want to pull up a video now which we've been sent from South Korea to get your reaction. Let's have a look. Hello, how are you? My name is Anton and I'm a Canadian teacher working in South Korea teaching math. And I am so excited. I'm, I've been watching the news. I've been actually following the landing up to the you know second. And I was um, on the live uh, stream at the moment the landing occurred. The thing is, it was actually 3 a.m. here and I had to work the day after. Came to work, I was super tired, it was super grumpy, but so excited. And I tried to, to basically express that excitement to my students. And so I, what I decided to do is next, the whole week next week, I'm going to change my curriculum and essentially turn my classroom into the space exploration. I'm going to use space video games, space videos. I'm going to talk about the Rosetta mission. And I'm going to put all of that into my geometry class, into my um, grade 11 class, and basically have them, yeah. I'm going to try to infect them with my uh, space, space love. Uh, and that's Anton, who's a teacher. We're joined now by another teacher. <laughs> I, get, I get the idea of what you're saying about how important it is to inspire the next generation. I want to bring in Emily Rice, because I wonder, what was it that hooked you into, into space and, and a passion for it? Geez, I was actually not inter well, I, not to say that I wasn't interested, but I didn't, I wasn't one of those kids that was like looking through a telescope at a very young age or, or anything like that. I honestly didn't know what I wanted to do even until I started college. Um, I was always interested in science, I was always interested in math, but I, I didn't have people around me that had jobs in it really, other than um, uh, teachers and things like that. Uh, but when I started college was when I first realized uh, that people were actively doing research in these things. I actually had an, uh, uh, an introductory astronomy class that was scheduled for 50 minutes and we never left when the class was supposed to end. Everyone in the class just stayed afterwards and the professor would, would keep talking for as long as we would sit there. And I said, okay, what do I have to do to learn more about this? And, and then after college, I said, okay, what do I have to do to contribute to this? And I went to grad school. Let's just say something. 